Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. What are you known for? Give us the people the intro. I'm Give us the be- people. Give the people an intro. I'm known for being posh, mainly. Yeah, yeah. That's the main selling point. Brie and cracker vibes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like a posh. Brie and cracker. Brie so what do you just call me? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Sorry about that. Guys. Um, what am I best known for? Um, I am known for doing silly pranks on the internet silly goofy things that, that kind of makes me sound like i'm a 2011 yeah. youtuber um, sam pepper's in the building no he's not <laughs> i really hope he's not um so You're i have page. done uh, i ran for london mayor but people won't know me for that because nico omelana also did it and so they, <laughs> yeah. they completely forgot i did it um what else have i done i wrote welcome to luton in massive letters next to gatwick airport the famous that was fun i yep. got a, private investigator to follow me for a month yeah without me knowing um i have spent 24 hours with nudists i got my kit off the dream the oh dream. you also got naked i got naked that. yeah did I you had... feel empowered after that or did you feel a bit embarrassed i i was told uh, i did talk about this a little bit in my stand-up show and i, I was told before i went by yeah. some journalists like do you know what max like it's a really like freeing experience <laughs> yeah, and after yeah. five minutes you kind of forget you're naked right that wasn't no true. of course not um i was quite conscious that i was naked it was also your cock out. yeah yeah it was the hottest day of the year as well when we did Sweaty it balls. and just burnt balls mainly oh. <laughs> Oh, were you outside, sorry? I was outside, yeah. SPF should have been straight on that. Uh, it's it's an interesting dilemma when you decide whether you can put SPF 50 on your testicles I or feel not. like you can. Well, I don't you, have a cock, so I don't know why well, I'm Well, I mean, but... you don't put them on mine. No. <laughs> no, yeah, fair enough. I mean, just south of France, where's Grace when you need it? <laughs> um... <laughs> That's no, uh, so I've, I've, my, my kind of, my MO is kind of going out and doing really silly random things. As you should. As, as I should. But I, I started off interviewing people on nights out in Newcastle um, and I kind of got known for just interviewing posh people for a long period of time. So you have a series called Versus Posh People. Yes. How no. do you find said posh people? Because Newcastle... I am one. I, I know where we all live. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, it's so true. it was a, a Street Smart, uh, it was the series that I did was, and then I just kind of realised I had a video where I did with uh, students at a university called Sirencester, the Royal, Agri- or Royal Agricultural Union at Sirencester. Yeah, I couldn't say that. Oh, yeah, and days. that was that was pretty. That went big, and so I was like, right, everyone loves watching posh people now say silly time. things. Yeah. So I would then just kind of go to posh events. So like uh, Made in Chelsea, Made in, yeah, yeah, um, a lot of rowing events, polo events. Oh, I I like a row. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, my dad used to row. Okay. He's quite posh. Is as he well. quite posh? Yeah. Yeah. He like did shit with planes and that. Nice. So I feel like that classes you as posh. <laughs> was he was he an air steward? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He he did like um. What was that famous plane? The jet. Concorde. Yeah, he worked on the Concorde. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's quite old. Pilot. No, he just like Tinker. screwdrivers and shit. Spanner. Yeah, yeah. He was building it. No, <laughs> he <I> built <laughs> the Concorde yeah, single handedly. My dad did. What that. a man. Yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, and way. then also just a lot of the clubs in Chelsea. I used to go stand outside oh. with a microphone and a camera. So. Well, the thing is, I've had to do that once before mm. and it was the most terrifying thing ever because people are knobs. When when you've got a camera out, yeah. people just are knobs. Yeah, I mean, it's I kind of used to like, liken it to like moths. So like you, you, t- you turn on like <laughs> yeah. a ring light in public a, a, in the evening outside a club and it's people just like flock. boom. And I've kind of realised, I've done like, th- I used to do th- about three or four years of interviewing like p- students on nights out and I realised mm. very quickly that whatever energy you give them, They'll they give will back. give back to you, but times 10. So if you're like, oh my God, guys, how are we? Do you mind if we chat for five minutes? <laughs> yeah. They are like, yeah. <laughs> um, but if you're like grumpy and, and kind of standoffish, then they'll be like, come on then. Yeah, I think that's my problem. Yeah. Maybe that is my issue. <laughs> I'm like, what's fucking go then? No, I don't do that. Right, I'm so very what's been in the microphone now. Go on, tell um, me the problem. But I've kind of been overtaken by the uh, the, the, the TikTokers of this world. They've, they've discovered the man on the street content, so yeah, I can't really do it anymore. I mean, at least you were the OG of it, so it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Well, it wasn't really because kind of talking to people on nights <laughs> out is not is not a new format. Like, sometimes I'll get sent messages of like screenshots of someone else doing like an interview on a street. We're like, mate, they've nicked your format. It's like, they haven't. They ha- I've, I've, yeah, I've nicked yeah. that format. It's, it, it's a tale as old as, ca- as long as cameras have been around. Yeah. People have been talking to people on on the streets. So. Well, because you, this is weird because I was like, oh my god, Max Fort, I don't know my fruits, mm. right? 
And then I clocked, I'd been watching your videos for ages, not realizing you were the same person I don't know as my the guy fruits. on TikTok. Did that piss you off that you constantly had to see that on your For You page? Yeah, I mean, I it was so weird that that was the thing that went massive <laughs> yeah. and like I had done some mad stuff that I thought was gonna and of course it's that and it's that yeah. and also it went viral about four months after the video went out so you're bored of it anyway so it, it was kind of just something that just appeared out of nowhere um and I think it started I realized it was kind of taking it was getting some traction because it was it started to become a thing in the queer community on TikTok because mm. I don't know my fruits. They were talking about other queer people. Right. And so that's when it started to become a sound. And then I remember Ashley Graham, the model, used the sound. Really? And I was like, okay, this is gay. And then when Camille Cabello I used it. I was about it, to say, I saw that that's mental. That was what I found really funny about you that. You basically that fucked Camille Cabello. She's been, I've been in her mouth. You, yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> Not many people can say that apart no. from Shawn Mendes. No, and I, even then, do we know? Even, <laughs> even then. Do we know? Do we know? Um, I quite like the idea though, that because she did it in her apartment. And so she would have had to hear my voice loads and loads of times to, to get the lip sync right so she would have just heard me in her apartment in new york just go i don't know my fruits <laughs> i don't know my fruits i don't know my fruits i put that on my cv i mean you've got a lot of shit to put on your cv you probably don't even need a cv at the point but if you did yeah. that would be one to Camille cabello it. once had me in her mouth yeah the only people that have done Stop my videos it. is Stop fucking it. like don't take that out of context Holly gonna, they will they use will. that as a sound bite come here we haven't met but lovely to meet you i don't know she might be a massive fan of the she Grace might podcast. be she is, obviously. Come on now, have some respect for the pod. I'm, I'm putting a lot of respect He's, on the pod's name. Yeah. <laughs> put some respect on the pod's name. I bloody put that respect on the pod's name. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So you did the TikTok shit, yeah. right? You went viral, job done, whatever. Your videos on YouTube, I feel like where, like where it's at mainly, yeah. right? How do you come up with the ideas? Um, it's a lot of like conversations I have with mates. And so for example, running for London Mayor. Did you get high? No, um, I don't. I thought maybe an edible might have. No, that, that, that that's quite a good idea though. I, you were Although welcome. actually, no, I did. Uh, there was one video I did that I came up with whilst I was inebriated and under the influence, Ooh. and that w didn't do very Slay. well at all. Oh. No, it was recreating my uh, school hundred meter race with the same people twenty <laughs> years on. That's just quite a good idea. Yeah, so I got together my <laughs> old school friends <laughs> right. that I hadn't seen in twenty years. Like, hi guys, I know this is gonna be really weird, but do you want to race in the park together? And <laughs> that sounds like you're about to groom them. Yeah, it, it was. It was quite a hard sell. You're lucky they turned up. Yeah, it was quite yeah. a hard sell. Um, but no, I think I come up with my ideas just purely from things. So the, the mayor thing, running for London mayor. Yeah. Someone sent a BBC article of the people they thought they were going to run for London mayor. Right. And there were people like the um, Count Binface was on there. <laughs> and then in a WhatsApp group chat, my mate was like, you won't run for London mayor. And, and I was like, like, watch me. I was like, I could. But what would you have done if you actually got London mayor? Would you shit yourself? No, I, I think I'd, I'd do all right. What I would do, I would just become a complete shill. I would just get people who knew what they were doing. It's like, <laughs> yeah. what do I need to do? So I'd, be a, I'd be a puppet leader. Um, Good video content, though. Oh, bang it. Day in the life of me as London mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Mukbang with the mayor. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I kind of want that. Yeah, let's, let's get Sadiq involved. Just do it again next year. Fucking hell. Is it, is it a yearly thing? Yeah, no. no, it's every four years. Oh, it's like a president. Yeah. Who can be arsed? That's commitment. Yeah, it's commitment to the bit. Um, I, I could have. I think I could have done all right as mayor. I think you've done all right. The state, the politician's doing it at the moment. Am I, I mean, right, guys? <laughs> That's a bit of punchy satire for you there, but the politics on the Saving Grace podcast. It's about time because we just usually talk about shit on this. So, uh, actual thank you poo. For that. Actual poo. Oh. Have you had an embarrassing poo story? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I thought okay. you have. Everyone I think, I think has. We've, all shat, we've all shat ourselves at one point Speak in life. Speak yourself. No, I'm joking. You yeah, definitely have yeah. a bad poo. Even yourself. if it's a sharp. Yeah. I was climbing. <laughs> this is going to be the boshest <laughs> intro to a story <laughs> right. ever. I can't believe I'm saying this, um, but I, about five or six years ago, climbed a mountain called Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh yeah, that old thing. That old yeah, thing. little um, mile and hill. And I, towards the summit, I really needed a poo. Oh. And because the, the, the walk was five days and I thought, right, let's just Fuck Imodium the hell up. Yeah. I think I could probably just about last five days. Drug use. And I... <laughs> this is getting taken I need down. some help. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and as I was reaching the summit, that the imodium stopped working oh. and it was really cold outside right. so i did do a little bit of a poo is it a mountain poo it, but it, it froze straight away not straight oh. away but within like 10 minutes wow so it kind of wasn't that bad that's quite cool no toilet paper though no 
There's no leaves. Chris, you are remarkable. At be- I've, I've literally met you 10 minutes ago. Yes. And, <laughs> and I, I am telling a story that I don't think I've About ever said Mount Kilimanjaro shy. Yeah. I need that. I don't need that, no, but you, I needed the story. You needed the story. So that's yeah. the, 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 the most, yeah, the, the standout time that I've pooped myself. Did you get to the top though? Yeah. Did so, you shit at the top? No. I, like Americans put the flag in, we shit. I put a flag in my <laughs> shit. <laughs> But no, so whenever I look at the pictures of me at the top, I know that my 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 pants were full of poo. <laughs> That's like when you have kids, and you're like, I did a shit there. Yeah. That's the, not that I climbed it, I did a shit on that mountain. Yeah, whenever it's on the telly, poo on top Shout of on that. Do you know what's funny? Other like hike, is it a hike? Yeah. Other hikers probably walk past and go, That's a fossil. And it's actually your <laughs> shit. Just sat there rotting. Probably. But yeah, um, so yeah, I, I, don't I, know where I we like went how we are. Yeah. I still I like who you are, kind of sticking to the niche well, of the, of the, of the pod and talking Either about Otherwise, you're not. You should have known what you were coming on to. You no, know, I did. Yeah, I did. You did. I did. And he cried. <laughs>